Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm good. I'll pass on that. <laughs> Here's something that's a little more uplifting, especially uh, if you like skiing. And it's not a pun because there's a ski lift in here, but... Uh, you know, <laughs> still got snow. Uh, Sugarloaf is actually in pretty good shape right now. We talked a little bit earlier and I'll bring that back up about where uh, the snow depth is currently across Maine. Still a lot in western and northern Maine. Not so much in central and southern Maine, though. A lot of spots back down to zero. Take a look at this radar image right here. It looks like there's just an absolutely heavy downpour right here over Androscoggin and Kennebec counties, but that's actually not the case. So. Very interesting. We're going to dive a little bit into the meteorology behind this because there's always a science lesson. So watch this blob of precip as it moves through. What's happening here is the radar, which is located in gray, is picking up on what we call the melting layer. We call this bright banding because it looks like it's just very, very heavy rain. But likely what this is is a mix of rain and snow. And the reason that we know this is because this product right here on the radar, which is called correlation coefficient, see this big area in the yellow and it coincides where that big bright area was on the radar. That says that whatever is falling from the sky is not uniform. If it's just plain rain, it's all going to look like uniform drops. All the drops look the same, right? But when you have some sleet mixed in, some snowflakes, some rain, you get a lower correlation coefficient, and we can actually use that to find debris balls in tornadoes too. Behind the storm system, we're going to clear things out a little bit tonight. A bit breezy out of the northwest with temperatures for most back down into the 20s and 30s. And I've got decent news for the weekend. Honestly, the first weekend of April looking pretty good. We'll talk all about that coming up.